what's up guys it's josh back with another video and today i wanted to show you a utility that can replace the man command So over the past couple years, Rust has become a very popular programming language and a lot of people are creating Rust tools that can be ran on the Linux operating system. And I wanted to show you guys one that I thought was super cool when I found it. It's actually called Tilder. And it basically displays the same information, but in a condensed way as the man command. And as a new user to Linux, most people learn about the man command very early on when they first start playing with the command line. Well, a lot of times when you look at the information that's presented to you by the man command, it's a whole bunch of information and basically everything about the utility that you're trying to learn about. But if you're just looking for some examples of how to actually run a command, then Tildeer is something that you could use to get a condensed version of the man page. So first off, let me go over to the GitHub page so I can show you guys a little bit about the command and how to install it on different operating systems. And then I'll go through and install it and give you a couple examples at the end of the video. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm at the GitHub page for Tildeer. And as you can see under the about, it basically says a very flat, fast implementation of Tildeer in Rust. And this application is being maintained on a regular. The most recent release, it looks like uh, uh, September 4th, 2020, but they are updating this. As you can see, some files in here have been updated. So they are maintaining this package. But if we scroll down to the readme, uh, you can install it on Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. And just to read a little more, it says a very fast implementation of Tilder in Rust, simplified example based on community-driven man pages. And let's click over to the documentation just so I can show you guys uh, where, where it all can be installed. Uh, they have packages on Orch Linux, uh, Fedora, FreeBSD, uh, Futu, and this is Homebrew, Mac OS, then NetBSD, Nix, OpenSUSE, Solus, and Void Linux. And I'll install it on Orch Linux, but you can also manually install it uh, using Cargo. So just look into that if you wanna do a manual install. But there are packages on these list of distributions, you know, under the package manager. But let's go back to the github page and i want to read a little bit more basically a very fast implementation of rust simplified yeah community but it says down here if you pronounce tilder in english it sounds like till deer uh, hence the project name in case you're in a hurry and just want to quickly try till deer you can find static binaries on the github release page so check that out if you're interested in trying it out before actually installing it on your system, but it's only one command to install it on Orch. So I'm gonna walk you guys through that right fast and then play around with the command just to show you guys what it's all about. Okay, cool. So I'll do the install on Manjaro. This is an Orch based Linux distribution. So if you guys wanna check out Manjaro, it's very simple Orch install. It has an installer that you can just go through and install the operating system. It's super simple to get set up. But Manjaro is one of my recommendations of a beginner distribution that allows you to get everything set up and you'll be using a Orch Linux based distribution. So let's go down and install Tilder. And I had a terminal up and the first thing we want to do is update the system. Uh, that's anytime you want to install something new on the system, you want to always make sure you update the system using the Pac-Man command dash capital S and then lowercase y, you press enter, type in your pseudo password, unless you're using the root account, which I don't recommend, just use a pseudo account. And let's type in my password again, cause I, messed it up boom and this system is up to date this is a fresh install of manjaro so we don't have any updates for the system now let's go down and install tilder 
And like I said, the package name is T E A L D E E R. So let's type that in right fast. All we got to do is type pseudo uh, Pac Man uh, capital S dash capital S and then tilde. And then we can install a package. And it's in the main community repository. So you get to go with that. It's, it, you don't have to use the AUR or anything. And then also when you install Tilder, it checks to see if you have one of the optional dependencies, which is the bash completion or auto completion for the shell, which is already installed by default on Manjaro. But if you're using an Orch based system and you don't, or an Orch system, which you have to install everything, you know, on the system, uh, bash completion is probably not there and you need to check to make sure it's there. And I recommend you install that dependency unless you're using like uh, fish or ZS ZSH, then install bash completion. Now let's go down and clear. We have it installed, but it's one thing you have to do in order to start using it. You have to update the database for it. So all we have to do is type TLDR and then dash dash update and just to show you what will happen if you don't do that but let's write type t t l d r and then let's look at the or sync command and that's the man page that we want to look at and so as you can see cache not found so it basically has to cache everything first and then also gives you the option of what you're supposed to run but you're supposed to run the t l d r uh, dash dash update and press enter and it'll refresh everything it'll take a second you'll see it and it says successfully updated cache now before we run tld or against art or sync again i just want to run the man command against or sync just to show you guys the difference and you guys should know if you've been using linux uh what the actual man page actually looks like uh as you can see it's kind of you know it's difficult to understand if you're new to linux to to you know pick this up and fully understand it and let's say you're only looking for a specific example you know what i'm saying it's kind of hard to go through here and figure it out because you have to put it all together and you have to search through here as you can see they do have examples in the man page but the examples are front and center when you open it up using tilde. So let's go down and uh, quit the man page for or sync and then run tilde so you can see the difference. So TLDR and then or sync and press enter. And as you can see, it brings up a lot or a condensed version of the man page. And I'll go up to the top just so you guys can see, but it says transfer files either to or from a remote host not between two remote hosts can transfer single files or multiple files matching a pattern just some general information on or sync and it, it also points to the man page if you want to click and open up the man page there on the web but it breaks it all out as you can see you have examples so transfer a file from local to remote host and it has the example for you right there so or sync path to local file remote host and then colon and then the path to the remote directory and it breaks all of these different options out and it also shows you some examples based on the options and it also breaks down each part of the options that you're using so a is in here as an option that's archive mode uh z is zipped so that's compressed uh v for verbose and then h for human readable and p for progress so they'll give you progress so this gives you it breaks everything out in a simple straightforward manner so you can follow along or you know understand the command a whole lot better and then right here you know this is recursive uh and i only know that by the dash or but it says transfer directory and all its children from remote to local and then it breaks it out by remote and then to a local location so recursive that's that's dope right there and then it also breaks it out from remote to local right here as well i'm not sure it says uh transfer directory contents okay so it put the the forward slash in there and that's just the contents of this directory so that breaks that all out for you as well so you can understand how to run the commands 
now i still recommend you guys check out the man pages because it gives you more details of everything about the command like i said this gives you examples to make it easier to remember certain things because once you read the man pages you get it you understand how the actual application you don't need to go through a detailed manual of how everything works you're just looking for a specific thing that you're trying to figure out how to do with this command then use the tilde command so have both of them you know man on your system which most distributions come with man by default but also have the tilde command so you can quickly get a reference of how to run a command that you're trying to use and just show you a couple more but let's go tilde and let's just look at the copy command boom and scroll up to the top it says copy files and directories and it gives you those examples and it breaks it out it explains exactly what it's doing recursive verbose recursive uh the paths and all that stuff and also looking at like interactive modes uh, you can copy just strictly text files, uh, just basically breaking it all out and then symbolic links. So dash capital L. And if we look at the man page for copy, you know, it's a whole lot more details uh, and it explains pretty much the same stuff. But it, a lot of commands don't give you examples in the man page. And I remember I would used to go to the web to get an example. I would type in in Google example of copying x types of files to whatever directory or or sync or the du command just understanding how to type it and speaking of the du command let's run that as well on using tilde so let's type tldr and then du command boom and we can get a little boy a little bit more information and this is something I always had to always look up i always have to look it up because i don't remember the options and what they actually do i mean most of the options are similar you know to other commands like verbose uh h for human readable that's essentially an option that's in a lot of commands and recursive those are options are typically always there no matter the command you're using within the command line but other options are different and you want to actually see examples in my opinion it helps by seeing examples of how to run the command versus reading the man page for it and trying to figure out what option does what and then testing it out you can see how to actually run the commands by doing it this way but i hope you guys enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe to the channel go down check out the tilde command it's an exit excellent command when you're trying to learn the linux command line i definitely want you guys to see that the command line is not as intimidating as most people think so i hope you guys have a good day and of course keep it techy